What's up, weirdos? Daddy's home. Two star Mel Gibson would love this guy. Cause he's dumb! He's so dumb! They're both so dumb! And I don't want this to be a, oh, I'm gonna hate this person and be a jerk. This guy is so funny. To me, there's nothing funnier than when you find an idiot. And that's who this guy is. And by the way, he's so cool. Captain Taylor Morgan has such cool muscles and hairy chest and such cool beard. But having the aesthetic of a blue ribbon winning bear at Pride doesn't make you, like, not stupid sometimes. So Captain Taylor Morgan in his bio says, inspiring health and muscle. Health. Muscle! Muscle! Purpose. Black heart. Black like my soul. Emo, emo, emo. Emo, 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 emo. And freedom. And then you, the pirates flag. Yo ho! Yo. But as we watch this video, I don't know if this guy really has the pirate's life. Me? I would be a phenomenal pirate. I could see a movie where I play like a Will Turner type guy, and there's some confrontation that ends with, I am the pirate. <laughs> that type of vibe is me, not him. What he means by freedom and the pirate's flag is, I don't believe in depression. <laughs> That's, uh, that's him. But let's look at the video that really blew him up and let me find his channel. Right now, we are doing the healthiest thing that a human being can possibly do. We are outside in the sun, no sunscreen, no sunglasses, the full spectrum of UV light while grounding in a natural body of water. In three years, he's gonna look like a shriveled up raisin. <laughs> Not having on sunscreen and then being like proud of that is insane. A lot of people just don't wear sunscreen just not to do it, but he's like, no, 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 it's better to not wear sunscreen. These are twins, which I don't know if you know this, means they're the same. Nice commentary. And the one on the left wore sunscreen, the one on the right did not wear sunscreen. And if I'm looking at the two of them, they're both stunning, beautiful women with stories to tell. But, I mean, come on. Does the one on the right look like the healthiest thing you could do, Mr. Caveman? Oh, Mr. Pirate Caveman! But what his point is, they didn't have their bare feet in the water when they were outside, so that's why it happened. When radiation hits my skin and damages my skin, the skin that's getting hit by it is not affected because my little piggies are in the water. Um, you're wrong, stupid. But let's hear him out. Maybe Mustache Nipple Boy can really show us what's going on. In a natural body of water. This is freedom. This is independence. This is what the pharmaceutical industry does not want you to know. This is how you heal. Not all their pills that you pay money for. This, connecting with nature, this is how we heal and thrive. You see what I was saying about how he's kind of dumb? Me, shirtless with my mustache waxed and oiled up with my bare little piggies in the running water? The pharmaceutical industry doesn't want you to know about that because they just want to keep putting pills in you, boy, pills! Now, here's the thing, here's the thing. I think that there are extremely valid criticisms of the pharmaceutical industry, extremely valid. The pharmaceutical industry, in my opinion, and in reality, is bad. But what if I told you that you could believe that and then also believe that medication exists and it is real and it has a genuine effect and it's good for you? Oh my God. Now listen, yes, there is a problem with over medication. That does exist, but it's not like nobody knows about that. It's not like the popular belief is that you just take a bunch of pills all the time and that's how you should live. I think what I'm hearing from the culture, from the streets, is that if you are very depressed and it is impossible for you to go about your daily life without feeling like a weight is pulling you down and you are operating at a level that is much more difficult than somebody who isn't suffering from depression and then you can take medication that fixes like the chemical issues that are going on and reverts you to a place where you feel happy i think that that's good and you should talk to your doctor and be monitored closely and like make sure that you're going with people that you trust you know but have you considered that no and you're wrong and if you have depression and medication helps you you're wrong and you're weak and instead of at your lowest moment finally reaching out to your last line of hope going to the doctor getting prescribed medication and then you finally you know feel better actually that's because you're a pussy. That's what a uh, muscle, hairy chest, big beard, wax boy says. Because you should have taken your shirt off, whipped those boobies out, and put your bare little piggies in a running river. That's what pirates do. That's what freedom is. That's what inspiration is. But that's just the viral video, and I want to go in and dig deep to see who he really is. Because so often, a viral video will pop off, and then without context, people will just have a take. This, to me, is an opportunity to go in and see, okay, these are the videos that his core following is actually watching. So we can see who this, you know, this guy is. Hey, y'all, by the way, this video has been brought to you by Adam and Eve, which you can find at adameneve.com. Adam and Eve, what do they sell? They're in the business of pleasure. So if you're looking for something for you and your partner or partners or yourself, adamandeve.com is the place for you. And guess what? You use code COOPER, you can get 50% off of an item. You see something on there, and it's already a good deal, and then you take half of that off, and free shipping. Yeah, there's free shipping in the US and Canada. So anyways, go to adamandeve.com, click the link in my description or in the pinned comment, and use code COOPER for 50% off of an item. 50%. Back to the video. All right, number one. 
stop wearing sunglasses. Your body knows how much melanin to produce, aka what makes you tan and protects you from the sun based on the amount of light exposure that enters your eyeballs. Okay, I was gonna say that he has like an elementary level understanding of science, but I think I'm gonna bump that down to preschool. Well, I remember black people live where there's more UVs, so because they have more melanin, because they're black, because... And then that was his entire understanding of what melanin is. And I'm no expert, but that doesn't mean that your white ass should be out in the sun all the time without any sunscreen Because melanin will protect you. We have gone through generations like like generations of evolution And your white ass doesn't have a lot of melanin because Generationally the genes have decided that you don't need as much because of the way that your ancestors, you know, exist Your individual in your own lifetime eyes and skin aren't gonna be like, oh UV, UV, UV Now I'm black. That's not how it works. If you move to the east equator and then for thousands of years had generations of kids eventually yeah by natural selection people with more melanin would come out like you know but you individually going out it just you know hurts your skin because you don't have melanin because the generations of evolution decided that you don't need that much and when you get a tan you look so sexy but if you continue to get tans and get sunburns your skin looks like that bad twin and i don't mean to say bad in that way i mean to say bad but also bad you know what I'm talking about, but let's keep going. Two, stop wearing sunscreen. Get outside in the sun and get that UV exposure. Don't block it. I love the way that he's laughing through this whole thing. Like, it's so obvious. Step two, literally take off all your sunscreen, walk around in the sun for five hours, and let your skin get destroyed. Hey, have you heard of Oppenheimer, bro? That's about a nuclear bomb. A nuclear bomb is what the sun is doing to your skin. There we go. What have you not learned about, like, w women? Has he never talked to a woman? I, I do not know a woman in my life who has not said, hey, are you wearing sunscreen? This is a man who does not respect a, w a woman. I don't want to be too extreme here, but here's the thing. If you don't wear sunscreen, I just assume you're a misogynist. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, 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 but I mean, come on, bro. There are about 50, thousand TikTok beauty influencers and each and every one of them is in agreement that you should be wearing sunscreen and then also in addition to the beauty influencers there's also scientists who say yes mandatory number one thing you need to be doing is wearing sunscreen but you know the same information is coming from both sources and me personally I'm just gonna put more weight on the uh the beauty influencers Kim Kardashian but then also yeah on that note by the way when he talks about like the pharmaceutical industry is so fucked up and they don't want you to know about putting your bare feet in a running river. He's talking about it and using words that makes you go, hey, I don't like the pharmaceutical industry. Hey, so he must be right. A plus B equals put my bare feet in the running water and take my shirt off and open up my b-hole to the sun. Actually, that's not the, you shouldn't do that. The pharmaceutical industry, what you're criticizing there is capitalism, but you are not understanding that that's what that is. The pharmaceutical industry is bad because it is exploitative because of its foundation in capitalism and being for profit. That's what it is. Because you say the pharmaceutical industry wants to keep us on pills, man, so that they, we can keep paying them, man. But they won't understand it. the reason is because of capitalism, not because of they want to keep you down and keep you on a lower vibrational level with the 5G chemtrail gay frogs. It's like, hey, dude, the leap is not craziness the leap is capitalism is the root of the evil and all evil and you can put that and you can put that in jesus name amen our god is a communist he is jesus had 12 people in his commune and he said to tithe for the collective i'm not a singer but i'm a truth speaker and sometimes you got to speak the truth in song it's one thing doja and i have in common me and doja <laughs> we're like this we're tight we're tight as hell just imagine if we were that tight. Damn. Anyways, get back on track, you idiot. The point I'm making is the pharmaceutical industry is an indication that capitalism is bad. Not, now your dermatologist is a lying lizard person. I have had five dermatologists, because growing up, my skin was effed. And guess what? I listened to them, and now my skin is glowing, glistening, dewy, clean. Oh, sh that's the power of science. And you know what the number one thing they said was? Bro, we need to put you on Accutane, because that shit is Number two, if you do nothing else, wear sunscreen. And everything good about your skin is preserved by blocking the UV rays with sunscreen, okay? And in 15 years, this dude is gonna look like Dick Van Dyke. And I love Dick Van 
Dyke. Now that I'm saying his name out loud with pauses in between them, I cannot believe that that's his name. A cuss word for a wiener, a German ass word, and then a slur if you say it on its own? It's weird, never thought about that. But uh, anyways, Dick Van Dyke is a great guy. Feel weird saying his name, uh. And then number three, stop consuming seed oils and processed foods. Those are damaged fats. And because we are what we eat, if you eat damaged fats, you're quite literally going to be made up of damaged cells. So then it becomes much easier for you to sunburn instead of tan. What the heck is he talking about? What is he on right now? I can tell you what he's not on. Processed foods and seed oils. No, I'm with you. Like, processed food is bad. Processed food is observably, scientifically bad for you compared to regular food. <laughs> like, good old food. But seed oils and processed foods are made of damaged fats, and when you eat it, your cells are now damaged cells, and that's why you're sunburning? What? actually are you talking about? Do you think that when you eat spaghetti, your body becomes made of spaghetti? No, you, your cells get the nutrients from the food because your body breaks it down through the, I don't know if you've heard this, digestive system. And that's the problem with holistic health. You can hear one piece of scientific fact and then extrapolate nonsense from it and then act like, no, it's science-based. Just because you say the earth is round and gravity is pulling us towards the center doesn't mean you can then say, that means there's a devil demon person down there who's actually pulling it and gravity is his energy pulling it down. And if you jump, then you actually feel better because when you're in the air, you're further away from his demon energy. That's why I'm gonna go live on Mount Everest. And then people will go, well, it's literally based in science. That's why I'm wearing my kangaroo shoes. I feel so good I'm going to hell. 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 And that's science based. In addition to that, watch the sunrise every morning and get ever increasing bouts of sun exposure throughout the day. That will start to build up your solar callus and then instead of burning, you can look tan and sexy. Live the captain's lifestyle. Is that how he ends his videos? Real sick. Live the captain's lifestyle. Take your shirt off, get hit by UV rays as much as you possibly can, and then look like you're 80 years old by the time you're 30. Live the captain's lifestyle. And I don't want to say you're dumb if you are into holistic health or anything like that. There are great things to like natural food, like being as unprocessed as possible. And you know, having some sort of like a spiritual life is proven to be like healthy for your mental and your physical health. So I don't want to be like casting too broad of a net, but what I'm really criticizing here is when you take that and then use it to say, Depression is fake, and if you get medication, you're a pussy. But we're like only two videos deep, so let's go back and see what else we can find. Live the captain's lifestyle. Ophthalmology and dermatology are adamant that the sun is toxic for us. In fact, no, they're not, you idiot. Shut up. Ophthalmology, by the way, nerd for knowing ophthalmology. Ophthalmology, the branch of medicine about eyeballs. And dermatology, we already talked about the, the medicine around skin. And now we can see where Captain Moron is getting his information. Don't ever let a man listen to a podcast, ever, for any reason. And I love podcasts, I listen to them all the time. But if I was listening to a podcast, I would expect somebody to slap that out of my hand. Cause this is stupid, this is such a this is such a man thing to listen to, oh my God. Yeah, actually uh, I was doing some research, which was apparently Dr. Jack Cruz and Andrew Huberman telling you that, oh, doctors who care about your eyes and skin, they say that the sun is very bad for you and they wanna keep it away from you. But we over here with our science know that the sun's good for you. Hey, so does ophthalmology and dermatology, you idiots. They never talk about the benefits of vitamin D. There's a reason there's seasonal depression, because of a deficit of sunlight and vitamin D. But if you need your dose of vitamin D in the winter, come over here, hit my line. If I was an idiot, I'd make that joke. <laughs> boom, boom, had it both ways. Live the captain's lifestyle. This is what I'm saying, where all this BS comes from one nugget that's based in science. Is the sun bad for you if you get way too much of it and your skin starts to disintegrate and wrinkle and die? Yeah, that is bad for you. Oh, what? So you think I should never be in the sun? What, you think that we should nuke the sun? Wait, wait, you think that the sun is the devil and if you go outside, you're going to hell and people should never leave their houses and ever be in the sun ever? No, that's not what they're saying at all. Oh. And then they'll go out on a walk in nature and go, oh my god, uh, this is so nice. People who have depression should just do the shit. It makes me feel good. Because you don't have depression. Hey, guess what? When I am in a depressive state, if I go out into nature and walk around and interact with people, I feel a lot better because I don't suffer from clinical depression. But I have been in depressive states, which is a different thing from clinical depression. So if you're feeling really sad, feeling really down, Yes, that can totally help and maybe even fix you. But if you have a clinical depression, you can't just say, go outside in the, in the sun, take your shirt off, whip, whip, whip them boobies out into the sun and then uh, see what happens. <laughs> but as you can see, logic does not matter and you can see that in the comments. This 100%. 
Johan Wheatley. Yeah, Johan Wheatley, you would say that. And by the way, it's fine. Like, you can be this way. It's fine. It's just... And actually damaging if you're putting these things out there in a way that makes people who have clinical depression feel like losers. They already feel like losers because of the clinical depression. They don't need you lying about science and the reasons for the depression. You saying, hey, I lift weights and I go out in the sun, so, so that's what it fixes it. Yeah, that makes you feel good. It makes me feel good, too. It makes a lot of people feel good. It makes people with clinical depression feel better but if you are having trouble getting out of bed in the morning because of your clinical depression saying hey go out in the woods and put those bare little toes in that running water that's gonna fix you right up it's like that's absurdly stupid. And I don't even want to finish this clip because no, ophthalmology and dermatology does not say that the sun is bad for you. They say that extended exposure to the sun without proper protection is bad for you. Oh, but that's a little bit too many words for your big old caveman boy to understand. Ooga booga, sunscreen bad. Ooga booga, caveman no wear sunscreen. Ooga booga. Yeah, they went stink, you Neanderthal. <sighs> He's not a Neanderthal. He's a homo sapien. Ah, <laughs> no homo though. No homo. Live the captain's lifestyle. But I'm saying all this, and he has a video that I can see already from the thumbnail directly addresses what we're talking about. The comment says, some sun is fine, yes, but overexposure will cause a problem for your skin. That is true, because as we said previously, you can't generate a bunch of melanin in your own lifetime. No matter how much you're in the sun, Captain Taylor Morgan, you cannot become black. That's not how melanin works. <sighs> okay, but let's 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 hear him out because he's got a nice beard and a cool necklace. Not as cool as mine. We'll be back available on weirdothings.com. Maybe when you're seeing this video it is, but it's you know going to be in August. Exactly. Just like overtraining will cause you to get injured. Just like overeating will cause you to get fat. Just like overhydrating will cause you to literally drown yourself. Yes, too much of something that's good can also be bad. Okay. So then adjust everything that you're saying, bro. I did not understand a word that he was saying right there. He was just saying things that are true, but then not thinking that they're true. Because if you thought that that was true, you would be saying and doing different things. Some exposure to the sun, yes, overexposure to the sun is bad for you. So I'm going to constantly be in the sun without my shirt on and have as much UV radiation pumped into my little baby pores as I can. Okay, so you said the right thing, but then your thoughts, words, actions, and lifestyle are the exact opposite. Yes, you can have too much sun. That's why I'm not on the sun. Oh, you idiot. Shut up, you're the idiot. And then people in the comments are like, everything in moderation. Lol, this was such a respectful clapback. It's not a clapback when you just say, I'm wrong, but then you don't understand that you're wrong. It's Captain Moron behavior. That's so great. Captain Moron is so great. Let's not send this guy hate, though. Please don't send him hate. But interpersonally, we can refer to him as Captain Moron, because the stuff he's putting out there is moronic and mean. And, and also damaging. But then there's this other video where you get to see a little bit, uh, a look into his life as a jacked tan dude. This is a clip from when he was on TikTok Live, and people apparently were asking about her because this was like a moment that a lot of people that are in his following were like, Oh, yo, that's crazy! So they wanted to check in and this is him checking in. So he'll like have a, like a little follow-up at the end of this. But anyways, this is the TikTok Live. It was hot today. Hi. How did you get so tan? Walking in the sun. Is it real? Uh -huh. Is it a real tan? Okay, yeah, awesome. Course? Yeah, you're like... I had to say something because you're like the only other person who's actually tan, and that's awesome. I like the bare feet. Yeah, thanks. Hey, hey, lady, settle down. Settle down. Hey, what's up? You're so tan. How'd you, how'd you get so tan? Oh, yeah, I, I walk around in the sun a lot. Oh, that's awesome. Your tan is awesome. By the way, that's apparently clearly his only personality trait. And then she goes, I can see them dogs. Let me get them dogs. I like them. Live the captain's lifestyle. <laughs> yes. Yes. Um, I'm Taylor. I would shake your hand, but I'm eating a peach. It's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you. What's your name? Jackie. Jackie? <laughs> that's the, that's the, so yeah, grounding. So they're both like that type of people who are into that type of thing, which is fine. Just don't also do all the other stuff that's toxic. You know what I mean? But then, uh, the ending, <laughs> I got her number, but then I found out she's vaxxed. So that's a no go, bro. The caption on this one is person plus vaccine equals deal breaker. Yeah, I found out she was vaxxed. So that was a deal breaker. Couldn't someone with dirty blood. Okay. <laughs> what? How is that a deal breaker for you? I can see why you not being vaccinated would be a deal breaker for somebody who is vaccinated. But I thought for anti-vax people, it was all about 
the freedom of choice, which is ironic. But he's not anti-vax because of the choice factor of it. He's anti-vax because it makes you a bad person. And if you have a vaccine, you have been completely destroyed for eternity. What about people who were vaccinated in their infancy against, I don't know, Polio? Does the polio vaccine give you dirty blood? I mean, I just, uh, what an idiot. If being vaccinated is a deal breaker, then you are dealing with like only a dating pool of the 0.00001% who actually didn't rebel against their crazy conservative parents. Like as a parent, it's a pretty massive decision to say, no, I don't want my kid to be vaccinated for polio. Like there's a reason for, I'm not gonna get into this. The invention of the like the penicillin like, vaccine saved more lives as a scientific development than almost anything else in human history. So if that's bad, then I like literally argue with the wall, okay? Argue with this. I'm not arguing with you. I'm, I'm right, you're wrong, and that's fine. You can be wrong, but argue with this. <sighs> okay, I'm getting a little bit frustrated because I can already hear people being like, well, well, what about? Please stop. But let's get back to sunscreen because this is the, again, only thing that he's based his entire personality off of. Live the captain's lifestyle. Sunscreen causes vitamin D and nitric oxide deficiency along with skin cancer. Check my pin post to learn how to build your solar callus and avoid burning. Please stop using sunscreen. That's what this video is? I was a little bit confused. I thought it was just generalized homoerotic vibes as he's filming three handsome men in baseball uniforms. He's shaming them for wearing sunscreen? What a loser. Yeah, that's what they're doing. Oh my God, I didn't even, yeah, they're sharing sunscreen. And Captain Moron over here is like, Please don't put sunscreen on. Sunscreen. Okay, but what he's saying, sunscreen causes vitamin D and nitric oxide deficiency along with skin cancer. That is so reductionary. Hey, you know what's crazy? There can be chemicals in sunscreen that are at a chemical level potentially not great for you. Okay, that can be true. But what's also true is that not having it on is 100 trillion times worse because of the unfiltered UV rays that are up your skin. Hey, you know the number one cause of skin cancer? The sun. I don't like cancer. I don't want cancer. So I put sunscreen on because it vastly reduces my chance of skin cancer. But then out of the 100 million people who use sunscreen, the chemicals in the sunscreen might cause one person to develop a little bit. By the way, that person was already if sunscreen gives you skin cancer, I'm sorry, like, you were gonna get it from the sun anyways. That's just your battle, bro. That's not a reason to say you can't wear sunscreen. That's, like, so stupid. There's some analogy to be made about, like, the don't bring a knife to a gunfight. A knife is the sunscreen, and a gunfight is Oppenheimer's nuclear bomb. The chemicals in the sunscreen are the metaphorical knife, and the UV rays are the nuclear bomb. How do you think Oppenheimer would fare if he was going up against a nuke with a knife? If he had one knife and then he went, and he stabbed it, he would be f***ing obliterated! There's a chance that if you eat cauliflower, you could choke and die! So nobody should ever eat cauliflower, and it's bad for you, and if you eat it, you're gonna die, and I'm gonna shame you online if I see you eating cauliflower. And also, therefore, that means you should never eat any food, ever. Except my, like, uh, m my balls. That's the level of uh, intellect that he's operating here. Captain Moron. Caption here, before you at me, listen to Rick Rubin's podcast with Dr. Jack Chris and Dr. Andrew Huberman. We already listened to that and we already debunked them as being idiots. Idiots. Or as Shakira would say, idiots. Was that mean? I, well, I was trying to do it. Oh, that was that was that mean. It is. That, I, I'm, no, it's not mean. I'm just bad. <sighs> but what I have not been considering yet is, what's the point of all this? I just scrolled up and I saw that he has a link tree with hashtag make thriving standard. It's pointing down. Let's see if he's selling anything. Yeah. Yeah, health and wellness discounts. Yeah, thecaptainslifestyle.com forward slash podcast. I am at some point obviously gonna have a podcast because y'all are just subscribing like crazy and I've just, I've gotta do it. That'll be like down the line in a little bit, but come on, man, do we all need a podcast? <laughs> how about, how about, how about, how about I replace him? How about he stops and then I do it? How about that? Oh my God, are you kidding me? You cannot go onto a website like this and think that it's not absolutely poison. This is the most scam ass looking website I've ever seen. All these fonts with like the italics and the bold. You have my word that these are the best brands on the market. I settle for nothing less than excellence. With stuff like world domination and awakened natural pre-workout. Ketone, okay, okay, there's no way that this is working. You literally just work out a bunch and take steroids. Anybody who is a fitness influencer is taking steroids. Even the cute ones who are a little boy. Or like little guy, little, little cute, little shredded, little TikTok boy. They're on steroids. I hope you understand this. I know these people, they are on steroids. If you are online making your living by taking your shirt off, you will make more money 
by taking steroids. So everybody does. It. And everybody will see this and go, no, I don't, I don't, I don't. I do not believe them because I know what it looks like. And this dude's on steroids and so is everybody. I'm sorry. Except Noah Beck, right? Noah Beck isn't on steroids. I would never say Noah Beck is on steroids. Cause I want to be his friend. And it's fine to be on steroids. Like it's literally, who cares? But the point is you can't be on steroids and then say the reason that you look so good is because of world domination, pre brain optimizing supplements on the market. Brain optimizing supplements improve focus, mental clarity, confidence, mood, etc. You know, everything. Hey bro, I think that's just drugs. What if, what if that's what, <laughs> sorry. This is like a Noel and Cody type bit. What if he's selling Molly in that? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, no, I've got the perfect supplement for you. It's gonna make you feel better. Music is gonna sound more fun. You're gonna have a blast. You're gonna be confident. Then you take it and you're just going, <sighs> it's like, okay, bro. You having fun at Burning Man? <laughs> That's what this whole thing is about and why he was saying that stuff earlier about like, yeah, it is bad for you if you do too much of it, but not living out that reality is because he's making money off of selling supplements and lying to you. Live the captain's lifestyle. Okay, look at his website and now look at my website. This, there's a reason it looks more legit because I'm not a moron. I am a moron. By the way, I've never built a website before. I did this. I just made it and it's like easy. You have to be actively stupid to make a website as scammy ass looking as his. By the way, yeah, look at all those sold out things. Look at all that sold out. I don't wanna brag or anything. I'm trying to restock y'all, I'm trying. It is genuinely in the process. There's nothing I can do to speed it up, but you know, early in August, it'll be restocked. Shirts are still available. Pins are still available. Get one of those pins. It's really high quality, actually. While we're here, I just wanna let you know about the latest innovation in technology. If you get this pin, it's gonna improve your confidence, your mental clarity, your focus, and if you uh, do Coke off of the top of it, you're gonna have a lot more energy. And yeah, if you load this little puppy up with cocaine, <sighs> you're gonna have a lot more energy. That's uh, exactly how Ryan Reynolds would do it if he was doing an ad. Do I sound like him? I don't think I sound like him. Can you comment below that I sound like him? Comment below if I look like Orlando Bloom in uh, Pirates of the Caribbean and if I look hot and sexy and if I sound like Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> Pick me ass little idiot. Do not give me that validation. Do not. I don't deserve it. I don't need it. And if you say it, I would not any of that stuff. Y'all are too nice, too complimentary, too validating because when people who don't know me will see that shit, they go, well, I hate this guy then. They're calling this guy baby girl? F him. You know, it's like, it's like, f you. <laughs> That's my impression of people who aren't weirdos like y'all. I'm like, they call the baby girl? F you. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna turn on his video and then be on my phone. Cause I can do that whenever I want. I'm ignoring him. But at the end of the day, I don't want to be a total jerk. I've been calling him Captain Moron this whole time, but I say that now. The thing, he is doing things wrong. He is trying to be like positive. I'm trying to be nice, but he genuinely is causing harm. And he's lying specifically to sell scam supplements to little guys who think that if they take a little bit of Molly, they're gonna be jacked like him. He's not selling Molly, that's not the accusation. I'm not making that accusation. But I am saying that his supplements, you will not look like him by taking his supplements, okay? But he's telling his little boys that follow him on TikTok that if they take the supplements and pay him and take their shirt off and stand in the sun, they'll look exactly like him because and I'm not exaggerating, he listened to a podcast where two dudes lied for a little bit. If you're that mentally weak that you listen to a podcast for a little bit of time and then you just believe lies and base your entire life off of those lies after that, I gotta be honest with you, bro. You're Captain Moron. That's just, that's just, hey, I'm just the messenger. And my skin looks great and people think that I don't look hideously ugly, so therefore sunscreen, good. And if you are suffering from a suffocating depression, it is actually okay for you to go to doctors and ask for a little bit of help because nobody should be going through life suffering, especially if there is a reason and there is a way to feel better. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? The pharmaceutical industry is bad because of capitalism, not because there's lizard people trying to make everybody gay. But if there were lizard people who were trying to make everybody gay, you better f***ing believe I'd vote for them. How could you root for Joe Biden? He's literally the LGBTQ lizard god. Yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth, big boy. Anyways, I love y'all weirdos very much. Please subscribe. Y'all have subscribed so much. It's kind of, it's kind of like, Oh, that's, that's my reaction, it's kind of, oh, because I feel like I'm like the fastest rising comedy commentary channel of a guy with shoulder length hair who is six foot two with one, two, three, four tattoos. So that's cool. Funky Frog Bait is uh, doing better than me though, so shout out Funky Frog Bait. Wish my frog bait was funky.